This morning, approximately 5.30 a.m., uh, we received a call at the Cumberland Inn on Trendy Lane, uh, possible drug activity, uh, possible uh, persons uh, planning a robbery, possible persons wanted for robbery. Uh, two of our officers responded uh, to one of the rooms. Uh, they were greeted by a female occupant. Uh, as she opened the door, there was obvious drug activity inside. Uh, they stepped inside to freeze the scene. And at the time, they noted that the uh, bathroom door was closed. Uh, as they approached the bathroom door, suddenly and without warning, uh, the suspect in this case uh, produced a shotgun uh, and shot one of our officers. Uh, Officer T Terrence McBride, he's 28 years old. Uh, he has a gunshot wound to the left shoulder. Uh, it is serious. Uh, but the doctors tell me uh, that he will make a full recovery. Uh, the officers returned fire and backed out of the room to safety. Uh, as they were outside and in a safe place, uh, they heard an additional gunshot. Uh, later, our officers, our SWAT team, entered the room. Uh, we found the suspect in the bathroom uh, with a gunshot wound to the head. Uh, so it appears uh, at this time that he took his own life. Certainly, our officers are, are very well trained and, and they were using all the proper procedures uh, and that in fact is the reason they were, they saw the bathroom door closed and wanted to make sure that no one was inside, but in fact there was someone inside. Uh, the um, person inside, uh, we think, we have not confirmed the identity, we think is a parolee out of New York State and uh, we think that he's involved in some other criminal activity. But uh, we'll know more about that uh, later in the day as we're able to confirm these details. Chief, what's the first thing that goes through your mind when you receive a phone call in the morning that something like this has happened? Well, certainly, uh, you know, the first thing that you think of is uh, not only the officer, but the officer's family. Uh, in this case, the officer's wife was out of town. We made arrangements uh, to get her back in town as soon as possible. Uh, his parents uh, are out of state and they're traveling here also. So. Uh, we want to make sure, obviously, uh, as I told uh, uh, Officer McBride this morning, the hospital's going to take care of you, and we're going to take care of your family. It's, it's certainly a very comforting thing. You know, we have, we have some of the best folks here, and it has to be a little bit comforting for you, the other officers, and his family as well, that he is in some of the best hands he can be. What would you agree? Well, certainly, all over Nashville. Uh, there are very fine medical centers and Vanderbilt being right at the top of the list. Uh, so, uh, yes, uh, when I walk in here, I know that whatever care uh, is necessary, that he's going to receive it. And in fact, I've been approached by a couple of doctors this morning to give me assurance of that. Can you talk about the drug investigation? What was it for? How long did it go on? Well, uh, at this time, uh, I, I won't go into details. Uh, but uh, the drug investigation itself only lasted a few moments. Uh, the officers had just stepped into the room and were making sure that the room was clear and safe, uh, and that's when the officer was shot. Chief, I'll wrap it up later. If you wouldn't mind, uh, I'll wrap it up later. If you wouldn't sure. mind, just uh, beginning from the beginning of what happened this morning. Okay, at approximately 5.30 this morning, uh, we received a phone call uh, to, our, to the emergency communication center uh, possible drug activity, uh, possibly uh, a robbery being planned, uh, possibly a person wanted for robbery uh, in a room at the Cumberland Inn on Trendy Lane. Uh, two of our officers responded uh, just to investigate. Uh, they were greeted by a female occupant of the room. Uh, as the door opened, uh, they saw obvious drug activity inside. Uh, so the officer stepped inside to secure the scene. As they did, they noticed the bathroom door was closed. As they were approaching to secure that bathroom to ensure that no one, in fact, was behind the door, uh, a suspect uh, produced a shotgun, and before the officers could even see what happened, uh, one of our officers, uh, Terrence McBride, was shot in the left shoulder. Uh, Officer McBride is upstairs here at Vanderbilt. Uh, it's a serious wound, but it's one the doctors tell me that he will make a full recovery. Uh, the officers returned fire 
uh, as they ret were retreating. When they got to a safe place and all was secure, they heard an additional gunshot inside. Uh, later, our SWAT team entered and uh, found uh, the suspect in the bathroom uh, with an obvious gunshot wound uh, to the head. Uh, he was in the bathtub at the time. Uh, so uh, it appears that uh, at this point that he took his own life uh, with the very shotgun uh, that he shot our officer with. Uh, we have not confirmed 100% the identity of the suspect, uh, but uh, at this point we believe him to be a parolee out of New York, New York State, and we believe him to be involved in other criminal activity in the Nashville area over the last few days. There were uh, there was a female occupant uh, that in fact uh, she's the one that greeted the officers at the door and as the gunfire erupted uh, she fled the scene uh, we've now identified her and uh, we'll be talking to her shortly. Chief, that particular uh, uh, motel there was another situation a few months ago where a guy fired a shot out of the bathroom burst the window missed officers led police on a chase have you guys considered looking at Well, it, uh, activity at that place at this point has not risen to the level that, that's got our attention. That's a very serious thing uh, we know when uh, we go in and shut down uh, a business. Uh, so, uh, uh, but uh, obviously if things uh, uh, continue to erupt in that uh, particular business, uh, we'll take a close look at it. Everybody and Officer McBride, how, how did you spell his name so we have that? I'll, I'll get that for you. Okay. Anybody else have a question? As far as we know, as far as we know, again, our officers are so very well trained in safety procedures. Uh, it's al almost automatic. Uh, they don't have to think twice about it. Uh, again, uh, Officer McBride tells me he did not even see the gun. He just heard the blast and uh, felt it uh, in his shoulder area. Thank you, Thank you all. Thanks. Thanks.